Hi, I want to talk about the two Hi, I want to talk about two of the fundamental classes of instruments. One is a wave based off a string that happens to be clamped at both ends, and the other happens to be a pipe that has two open ends. And in both cases, we end up getting standing wave resonance that has a very similar structure through slightly different means. And I'll focus my analysis by looking at a wave on a string. So if I have a wave on a string, I have two clamped points where I absolutely have to have zero wave amplitude at either end. Well, from the equation for a standing wave, the standing wave function is 2 times the amplitude times the sine of the wave number times x times the cosine of omega t. Well, all parts of the wave all evolve in time as omega t. So we can ignore the oscillating piece, and we can ignore the amplitude, because there's going to be some amplitude available everywhere, and we'll focus on this piece in the middle. Now, if I make one end of the string x equals zero, then, well, the sine of zero is zero, we're good there. That means we need to look at the far end when x equals the length of the string, l. So the sine of my wave number times l has to equal zero. Well, to get a sine equal to zero, the argument inside that sine has to be a multiple of pi radians. So kl is going to be equal to an integer times pi, where that integer is positive and not zero. So one, two, three, four, five, whatever, all of those work. Well, the wave number k is 2 pi divided by the wavelength. So that means there need to be allowed wavelengths based off this integer n. And that pi cancels out, so 2 times the length of the string divided by, by my allowed wavelength is equal to an integer. So my allowed wavelengths are going to be 2 times the length of the string divided by an integer. Now for a wave, the frequency is the speed of the wave divided by the wavelength. The frequency is set by properties of the material. So if the wavelength has only discrete values, the frequency only has discrete values. So the allowed frequencies are going to have to equal an integer times the wave speed divided by two times the length of the string. Now, for the case of an open, open pipe, it's similar because we have similar end conditions on each side. But instead of being at a place where there's no amplitude, and no amplitude we call nodes, a mnemonic to remember what a node is, if you drop the D, you have no E, no energy, there's no motion at a node, no energy at a node. On the other hand, at an open end of a pipe, the gas inside has to be able to displace the maximum amount. So we end up getting an anti-node, which is just the exact opposite of a node. Maximum vibration rather than minimum vibration. So we would end up going from an anti-node to a node in the middle to an anti-node. We could still fit half a wave or a full wave or three halves of a wave, just like we do on a string with a half a whole, three halves. It's just the waves that we choose go from anti-node to anti-nodes with nodes in the middle rather than node to node with anti-nodes in the middle. So regardless of whether we're looking at a string or an open open pipe, the wave patterns that we see have wavelengths equal to two times the length of our object divided by an integer and our frequencies are that integer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever, times the speed divided by 2 times the length of our object. Well, if n equals 1, in music we call that a fundamental, or the sort of first harmonic of a system. And all of those values of n are referred to as harmonic numbers. So in playing guitar, there's a guitar technique called harmonics, where in one case you lightly put your finger at the very center of the string, 
and play the string, you lightly put your finger a third of the way down the string, a quarter of the way down the string, what are you getting there? Notes! Which means you're figuring out a way of exciting harmonics that would happen to have a node where you have your finger, so the harmonics are equal to our harmonic number n times our fundamental frequency. And open open pipes, strings, have all possible harmonics available to them. Thanks for watching.